Hey guys, this is your girl Urban Chick One, and I'm coming to you today to show you the results of flat twisting my U part wig and closure. Um, it's going to be a quick video. Sorry if I am talking way too fast and if my accent is just making my words sound out of whack. Sorry in advance. Um, because I have to get ready to go to work, but I wanted to share this with y'all. So, um, my U part wig is a loose wave and my closure is a body wave. So, and I realized over time it's not good for me to keep, um, curling my hair on top because when I first got this here, I purchased it myself, but when I first received it, um, it had a lot of split ends. So I would just, I cut the split ends off, but every day I kept um, using hot tools like curling irons, and I have split ends again. So I think it's best for me to just not add heat and just flat twist it. So, and it comes out different every single day. So basically what I did at night, I took my brush, just smoothed it down, made sure this was smoothed down in place. I didn't split the middle away from the crown because I don't want the hair to be in that set part. So smoothed it down from the crown down to here, lightly split it with my hands in the middle, and then, you know, lightly sprayed it with water, very lightly, not even where it's damp, just a little bit. Um, comb with a wide tool comb detangled and then I just gradually flat twist it all the way to the end and I did that on both sides so now you can see that the the body wave closure matches my loose wave on top so I'm going to take the next one out hope y'all get a good look and I it's just easier to do this for me instead of twisting my hair every single morning even though it's, it only takes five to ten minutes I have a tendency to be late at work so <laughs> those five to ten minutes are very valuable so I rather this is easier to get up and go um, I blend my closure as much as possible it's not perfect but it's enough to where I feel comfortable walking outside my door so um, yeah okay so this side came out a lot better this side eh, I wish it was a little bit more defined on the top but it, I, I'm a rocket it's good enough I'm just gonna work I ain't going nowhere special so <laughs> I'm just gonna loosely um, take this apart not too much another thing I realized when I use heat a lot um, and this is what any like human hair Brazilian hair, virgin hair, whatever hair. If you use heat, it's, when you get the hair and it has split ends, cut it off. Because if you don't, it's going to result in frizziness, like crazy. Like the ends will get really frizzy. Um, and I realized the more, when I use curling irons or flat irons to curl it every day, that result in more split ends and it would get really frizzy on the bottom. So um, I think it's best for me to just cut it off, off, off. I have a real issue saying that word. It's so annoying. Damn accent. Anyway, cutting cutting it off. <laughs> um, I realize using heat every day results in more split ends and now make your um, ends frizzy. Um, so I realize it's best for me to just do a no heat style to get my hair the right curl that I like um, to my liking um, okay so this is the end result so I try to lightly separate it I don't want it to get frizzy um, I do use a cream throughout the day I don't use serums anymore serums weigh my hair down Hold on. this cream I use like in the morning if I take it down and it's frizzy I use Garnier no John Frieda um, finishing cream frizz ease 
and I, I, I bought the travel pack so I can carry it with me. So usually by the end of the day, or in the middle of the day, my hair is getting so frizzy to where it's annoying me personally. I just put a little dab and then I don't put it on all the hair. I just put it on where it's getting frizzy, which is usually just the ends. I put a little bit on the tips of my hair and I just casually like put it on the out perimeter of the hair. I, I don't want to put too much product. I don't want to weigh the hair down. So, this is it. And this is pretty fine. I think it looks great. Hope y'all can get a good look. Um, this is allegedly Brazilian version here. Like I said, I don't think it's version here. Um, it's a loose wave on the bottom. It's a body wave for the closure. The company I got it from, they didn't have um loose wave closure which i think is good it probably would have just been too big for me or i don't know anyway this is your girl urban chick one and this is a great way to get set curls um to have every day without having to flat iron your hair and curls or use a curling iron um, without using heat so this is heatless curls heatless waves i love this for the springtime summer is on the way so, and I might dye this here a lighter, lighter brown because I, I have medium brown eyes. They're not, to me, they're not light brown. They're not dark brown, but they're medium brown. <laughs> so I might dye my hair like a lighter brown to make my eyes pop. And because it's spring, summer's coming, um, it just seems fun. And I might dye this before it gets really hot. And it gets, when it gets really hot, then I'm going to try a bob. So again, if you have not, subscribe below. I have a lot of videos coming in the future. And again, like I already repeated, this is your girl, Urban Chick One. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. And I will see all y'all later. I gotta rush to work, girl. I am so late. Bye! <laughs>